Welcome to KYCPA's Behind the Numbers. I'm Kimberly Lindsay, your host, and the Communications, Marketing, and Creative Director here at KYCPA. Today, I'm so happy to introduce our newest member of the KYCPA team. Her name is Brittany McGill. She is our new membership coordinator. And her first event with us is our Spring Awards Banquet when we celebrate our newest CPAs, candidates, award winners, and scholarship recipients. Brittany, welcome. And why don't you tell us a little bit about the upcoming Spring Awards Banquet? Thank you, Kimberly. Our Spring Awards Banquet is going to be held on April 29th, and it's going to be at the Glott House Hotel in downtown Louisville. We're excited to celebrate all the new CPAs, exam passers, award winners, and our scholarship recipients. You can check out our website for a complete list of those people, and you can also visit the website for more information about the awards banquet, and you can register you or your firm or your company today. And I want to talk a little bit about your experience from the YMCA and being a membership director there. Okay, I worked at the YMCA for close to seven years. And I, while I was there, I worked in the membership department. My last four years there, I was the membership director and main responsibilities was to grow and retain membership. So I'm hoping to take experience from that um, and bring it here to grow and retain the membership with KYCPA. And just a fun fact about myself, um, I have a one-year-old Husky named Millie. So most of my time is spent um, dealing with her craziness or playing with her. Um, and then I also have a really big family that I come from and I spend a lot of time with them as well. Thank you so much. And I'm, I'm so glad you're joining our team. And so we're gonna talk a little bit today about how KYCPA empowers Kentucky CPAs. First thing I wanna cover today is our CPE and how we have some member benefits such as our member discounts for our CPE and some free CPE offerings. And on our website, we have a CPE tracker, which has the ability to add external CPE courses that you've taken. And automatically, it will include any of the KYCPA courses that you have taken. So that is a very awesome tool that we have that is available to members and non-members, anyone that takes CPE with us. And then we also have a section on our website and it includes the CPE FAQs and the requirements. And sometimes those change. They did last year, early last year. So you may want to check those out if you're not familiar with those changes. We do have our 2022 conference schedule coming soon on our website, as well as our 2022 courses. And we already have tons of webinars. And this year, we will have more hybrid options especially for our conferences. So if you are missing that in-person uh, networking and just being at an event, you can do that this year. We did open that up in the fall and the winter to some of our courses and some of our conferences. So you may have already been able to enjoy being together again. If you have any questions about our CPE, Lisa Kemper is our CPE director. And her email address is lkemper at kycpa.org. We do have a staff contact page on our website too. So at any point in time, if you don't know who to contact for something, you can go there at kycpa.org and under the staff page under about. One awesome thing that we have available is our member profiles on our website. And that so that any member can go on the member profile and indicate what interests they have what information they want to receive, and how they want to receive it. So it's very important that you go online and go to kycpa.org and go under my profile and make those selections so that we know what information to send you and how to send it. And also at any time, you can find things on our website that you're interested in. There's an information portal that has important links that you may need such as tax forms and things like accounting and auditing information. The news section, we post important news releases and we also have the Kentucky CPA Journal and 
the, the disaster response and recovery resources page. And we also have member meetup. As members, you can go online and speak to each other. And recent topics that have been discussed are Kentucky Meals Deduction, Form 2441K, Federal Charitable Deduction on Schedule M in 2021, Accounting and Auditing Career Search, ERC and QBI, PPP Expense Deductibility and Reporting Losses, RFP to Audit, and Schedules K2 and K3. So if you have a topic that you want to discuss or need some input from other members, please go on there and post your topic and or question. And other members throughout the state may have some information that you aren't aware of or could or may have been through your situation and already have the solution to it. So get on there and, and post and share your your knowledge with others who may be asking for advice. It's a really great tool that we introduced last year. We also introduced Knowledge Hub last year, and it has a lot of great white papers and case studies and other information, articles that you can download complimentary, and that is a great resource. We also have several social media sites and you can find links to those on our website as well. We have a presence on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram. And we also have a YouTube channel with lots of videos uh, of past events. There's the podcasts, videos, videos of members speaking about their CPA story and, and students speaking about why they became interested in accounting. So check that out and share those videos with maybe some potential students that may be interested in accounting. The next thing we're going to talk about is our advocacy section on our website. The legislative updates come out weekly from Anthony during legislative sessions. We also have a key contact program. So if you know of a legislator personally, that is a way that we can open the door of communication with them. We would greatly appreciate you becoming part of our key contact program. We just had our CPA day at the Capitol. It was a great event where we spoke with legislators and we will be posting on our YouTube channel those recordings if you missed it. And then our PAC, our KYCPA PAC, if you would like to make a donation to the PAC, we also have that available online on our website. Next, I'm gonna, we're going to talk about growing the CPA pipeline. We all need those valuable accounting employees and coworkers and leaders. So um, I'm going to let Brittany talk a little bit about that. We offer a dual AICPA and KYCPA free college student membership to those who are pursuing the accounting or finance career path. We work to grow the CPA pipeline through those students with a diversity and inclusion scholarship for CPA exam prep materials, also an ambassador program, multiple college scholarships, CPA exam workshops, and promoting the profession to the high school students. We also have our employment resources page, and that is a great opportunity to post your openings and for those up and coming CPAs and maybe someone looking to transfer to a different company or a different position in in accounting related roles, you can post those on our website. It is free for KYCPA members but non-members can post too for a small fee of $50 per posting per month. Those are advertised on our website and in our e-newsletters each month. And you can find that on our website as well, Uh, right on our homepage there. It says employment resources, click on it. You fill out a form. It's really easy. If you want to speak about our committees. As there are over 20 committees that we have, And joining one is a great opportunity to develop professional relationships, also to influence the profession and share your expertise and more. If you'd like to see a list of these committees, check out our website. We also have the CPA Referral Service, and Brittany, you want to tell us a little bit about that? 
By being a KYCPA member, you can enroll your firm in our CPA referral service so that the public may search for the CPA service that meets their needs. Yes, and that is super easy to do. Go to our website and click find a CPA, and then you will go and click the link that says CPA firms to uh, click here to enroll or update your listing. And it is very easy. You'll need to log in. So we also have some additional services uh, on our website, including our online member directory. Brittany, you want to tell them a little bit about that? Yes, we have a online directory search feature on the website where members can search for other members using their name, email address, firm, or their location. We also provide for our members who qualify and our firm member access to health and dental insurance. We also have life and disability insurance, professional liability insurance, and other supplemental products. And you can find this all online. Uh, information and contact information. Go to kycpa.org and go under my KYCPA and then my member benefits and there's links to all of the insurance information under there. And there's something for every Kentucky CPA being a member. And if you are a member, thank you so much for your continued membership. And also, if you're not a KYCPA member, it's super easy to join. You just go to our website and click join at the very top of the screen. Fill out the membership application and Brittany will be the one to follow up with you regarding that. And you can check out everything that I've mentioned and Brittany has mentioned at kycpa.org. If you have any questions, you can feel free to call us at 502-266-5272 or go to our staff page on our website and email the appropriate staff member. We'll be happy to help you. And thank you, Brittany, for joining me today. And welcome to the KYCPA family. Kimberly, I'm happy to join the team. Thank you. And we'll see you next time on KYCPA's Behind the Markers.